Привет, comrades. Это Микал я. Today we shall play a horror game, as I said yesterday. It is called Sepulcher. I hope I'm saying that right. Please. Um, <laughs> so let's see what it's all about. It's horror. It's all I know. I've seen this picture right here actually only, and that's all I know. I know nothing about it other than Owl Cave. Cave. Yeah, Owl Cave made it. And that's about it. So I don't know what to expect. So let's see what's going on here. It's about uh, this guy who travels in a train, apparently. Yeah. I guess that's me. And the wicked shall hold their tongues. They stir <clears throat> beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. <coughs> Train's still going. I can't have slept long. We left. Uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? Hmm. God damn. It's unnervingly quiet. <coughs> you okay there, bro? <coughs> Maybe I should fetch some water. The restaurant should be open now. Examine. I don't want to be carting a book around unnecessarily. Seems, uh, seems like a good idea. No sense in taking the entire thing. Comfy enough to sleep on, evidently. It's nothing interesting. Can you take it with you? I can't just cart around any old thing. <laughs> what is the book about? The Charnel House Burial by Louis Cassell. <laughs> to think I don't get enough of the dead without pulp horror novels. Uh, just one vice. Okay. What do we have here then? Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang, curator of the Krennic on Thames Museum. That's me, all right. Okay, Dr. Lang. Let's go. Let's go stir up a drink or two. Maybe something strong is in order. Clear the head. I thought boosted the exact opposite thing, but. Whatever floats your boat. Okay. I'm Dr. Harold Lang. My destination is Auger Peak Island. I'm on this train to... <coughs> Man, you... I'm... I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to... Damn. It's nothing interesting. It's a fire extinguisher! It's awesome! I can't just cart around any old thing. <laughs> See what we got over here? Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. A friendly looking fellow. Makes a change for public transport. Let's go talk to him. Good evening, my friend. I was wondering if you could... Ah yes, I've seen you poking around. Having trouble settling down, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Could do with a stiff drink about now? Right you are then. Okay. Let's go over here, see what's going on. In the next one. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. Empty as well. What's about this end one? Locked? Isn't this the way out? Oh, this just took a... Pretty dark turn, actually. <laughs> That's just a tiny bit freaky. Let's go. Why? Can you not? What? I can't even. Okay. A painting of a train. Is it this one? No, looks too old. Maybe an ancestor. Sure. 
How does... What? Locked? Yeah, I know. No, God damn it, stop. Okay, um... Observe? Locked. And how the hell do I... Wow, I'm already stuck. Terrific. How about this thing? Can we go out the window? Shutters down. <sighs> no use. Stuck. Shutters down. Indeed. Oh, I thought maybe you could go out the window, but... Mm, I don't see the... <laughs> This mofo. Right you are then. Oh. Keyhole? The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. Is that normal? Nothing's wrong, is it? <laughs> you city folk always jump to conclusions. Ain't nothing wrong, just how we do things when our guests are asleep. Prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? Pal, let me tell you, if a fire breaks out on this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting, if you catch my drift. Be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. Sheesh. Um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. Don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> I can give you the key, though, on one condition. Oh, please don't tell me he's going to ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum of his. Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Old Floyd will look you up. Just tell him it's for Don. Phew. No problem, my friend. Thank you. Cool. What about the painting? That painting on the wall. Isn't she a beaut? Runs like clockwork, she does. It's... This train? Uh, isn't it a little old? <laughs> you kids today have got no appreciation of machinery. I love machinery. You've got to be the same age at best. Practically grew up on her, I did. Ain't nothing about old Gloria that I don't know. Okay. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. What about... Oh, okay, maybe it's the other one? Let's go check. Locked. I can't. It must be that one. Locked? Isn't this the way out? Mofo, you have a. Do I have an inventory? Oh god, do I have an. God. Ah, crap! He can't. He just. Didn't he just give me a key? Ah, oh, what are you talking about? Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Oh. Yeah, okay, sure, 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 sure. If I figure it out. Locked. Uh. Which? What? L Locked? Isn't this the way out? Do I have an inventory? Do I have to use the key? What What do you want from me? Oh, of course there's no options. That's great. Uh, do I not have anything? Does my keyboard even work in this game? Well, except this game. <laughs> this game always works. But... I have nothing. All right, I use both. Maybe you have to look on the key. Maybe it's uh, on the keypad you have to do it. I don't know. Okay. Well, that's freaking great. Oh, 
What the hell, man? What about that one? That door? What? Bring me back. Yeah, screw you. What do you want from me, game? If you ask me, he just gave him the keys. Shut us down. <sighs> no. Shut us. Oh, what do you want from me? I really am at a. Nothing in. Ah, oh, what do you want from me, game? I'll be right back, I guess. Prove it, comrades. I am back. Okay, so I figured it out. You have to. Are you ready for it? Do that. Do I drag it? Oh, okay. I just click on it. How was I supposed to figure that out? It didn't say anything in the instructions or options of the test done. Whatever. Let's continue. Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. Don't want it to close before I can get Don's whiskey. Alright, let's go then. I have no idea where this thing is. Not that one. Nope. This one. Next. Let's go. Locked. I has to. I has key. No good. I can't even get the key in. Must be locked from the other side. Oh great, we're stuck again. Ah, better hurry. Ah, dude, come on. I can't. It's not. A solemn-looking young woman. She's a little unnerving. It's bad enough looking at the picture, let alone carrying it around. Maybe there's something behind it? Huh? A solemn-looking young woman. She's seated on a chair. Her eyes are staring off at something just outside the picture's edge. It's a little unnerving. I feel like... I feel like I've seen a photograph like this before. If this wasn't up in a train carriage... Hmm... Something out in the frame? Wait, hold on. No! A s Shh! Ah, oh, come on, there must be something to it. What is that? What is that? Not really some... Wait, 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 what, what, what is that? Dr. Harold Lang... Oh, it's his ID, alright, alright. Not really something I want to try. Why not? There must be something to this picture. You can't tell me there's not. Oh, god damn it. I can just click anywhere. That's great. All right. I guess not. Ah. Not really. You stupid! Stop being stupid! Does this key work here then? Not really. Ah, <laughs> you're not helping, bro. Not really. Mm, not really. Douche. Locked. 
Lock. But why won't the key work? No good. What the hell do you want from me, game? It's... Again, I'll be right back. And we're again, we're back, so... <laughs> this is getting really, really annoying. But, found out again what you have to do. Thank God for, um, for my uh, great, great thinking abilities. Uh, the restaurant is locked. This key's no good. Ah, Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do his thing. He'll unlock it when he's good and ready. There's no rush, is there? I guess it's not. So now what? That's all I've figured out. <laughs> so, now what? Locked. Nope. Let's see what's going on on the other side. Oh, he... Locked. I think I can hear breathing inside. Faint sound of someone sleeping, perhaps. I won't disturb them further. Oh, now I can click on these. All right, cool, cool, awesome. Let's see if there's anyone inside of these. Look. What? Oh, sorry. Go, do that again. God damn it. Locked. I think I can. Oh, okay. Just more sleeping. What about you? Oh, another human being. Oh God, it's amazing. A huge black hold wall. Looks very heavy. God knows what's inside. Hold what the freak is that? A beautifully polished wooden box. It has a red, teardrop shaped gem set into the top. Let me just get over here. Hi Hello there. I'm sorry for the intrusion. I was just what <sighs> The He's Power of Christ to... compels you! I can't make it out. I'm sorry? What was that? Maybe I should be going. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Yeah. He doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth properly. I think I'd better leave. Maybe I should mention this to that ticket inspector. Uh, that's a... that's a dude? What? Huh? Are you saying... what? No, I'm getting out of here. That, that got freaky as fuck. This... wow, this got... wow, alright, um... Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, freaky. This game just took a really creepy turn, man. <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay, let's go. Hi, Don. Get over there. Grow up. There's a man in one of the rooms in the next carriage. I don't think he's at all well. <laughs> we get some right crazies on the train, I'm telling you. You learn to leave them be after a while. The the wretched man can barely speak. Aye, and I'd be the same way after the amount of booze most of these lads have had. Is Floyd still not operating then? Not as far as I'm aware. Ah, well. Give the boy time. Hey, I saw one of your fellow passengers pop their head out the room at the end of the corridor. Maybe you get a better conversation out of her. Pretty little thing. Thanks. Um, are you sure that she was... So he's just standing up sleeping after one second of... Sir, are you okay? <laughs> Whatever, let's go. Let's go, let's go talk to the chick, I guess. Well, this was the right room. Hello? Something doesn't feel right about this. They're all the same. Why would everyone have the same luggage? I want to have a look inside, but these are somebody's bags. I guess you just can't do that. Huh? A pile of paper dogs. They're not very well made. Such. What are you, a paper maker critic? Damn, son! Something doesn't. I want. More large bags. It's nothing. I can't just cart. 
more large bat. It's nothing in. I can't. Okay. Maybe I can open these shutters. Shuttered and sealed. Just like in my room. Okay. Well, that was fun, I guess. There was no chick, though. <sighs> Let's see if that goddamn door is open. I have no idea how long this game is, so I'm probably gonna split it up into locked. Damn. A few parts. Let's go back in here, I guess. A beauty. He doesn't look very well. That's if it's even a he. He looks positively sick, in fact. A huge black. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Bye. See you. Locked. I okay, maybe this one? Interesting. Let's see what's going on in these. Locked. Oh, okay. And this one was the. Yeah, this one was the same. So far, I've only seen one human being. A friendly looking f Damn it! Ah, oh, I still can't go down with that. What? Locked. I can't. Maybe there's more to that room. I don't know. I don't know. It's. I want. Hmm. Nothing? Are you sure? Nothing at all? A pun. <laughs> As a child, I used to make origami like this. Where's the girl that ticket collector claims to have seen? I'm... Mm, I'm sure she won't miss just one. <laughs> oh. Could she be... Nothing. But that sounded awfully like a door unlocking in the next carriage. Is Floyd ready for business? Yes, let's go! What? That music! <laughs> it's awesome! Oh, we're back in the 50s. I guess. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, I made progress! <laughs> Only after two... I don't think I should go back in there just yet. No, no, sir. I uh, wasn't supposed to. Only after looking at two war, uh, after having two epiphanies, I guess. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yes! Sweet! Food! Food's getting cold. I haven't heard any sort of dinner bell. Are we supposed to just know when it's dinner time? Are any of these places for me, I wonder? Oh, I could use some food. I'm so freaking hungry. Let's go! There you are, Movo. Good day, my good, good sir. Good evening. Floyd, is it? Ah, oh, Mr. Lang. How nice of you to join us. It's Dr. Lang, actually. But uh, who needs formalities in a place like this? <laughs> Quite. I suppose you're here on business. Business? I, uh... A drink, Mr. Lang. That is what you're after, is it not? Perhaps a bite to eat first? Unfortunately, all our meals are reserved. By all means, have a drink, though. Pull up a stool. I'd better not stay. Your ticket collector, Don, I think it was, has tasked me with procuring him a glass of whiskey. Ah, oh, yes. He did leave his hip flask here, thinking about it. It's right there on the bar. This one's on the house, Mr. Lang. Oh, cool, thanks. I'll take that. Huh. It's empty. And we have his stuff. I guess we Flask's should... empty, Floyd. Better give me a shot of whiskey. No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. It'll be five pounds. Five pounds? You're burying me alive here. Oh, I guess we need the wallet, right? He has a wallet in his cabin. Carriage. I don't know what you call those. 
Let's go. I guess we should get our wallet. Oh, I'm so hungry. Uh, oh, why did you have to mention food and stuff? God damn it. Oh well, let's go. It's not. No sense in taking me. But you need the. Ah, uh, a bit of money. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> oh, I had. No, damn it, what is that? A crisp five. Okay. It's my credit card. Oh, so I didn't have to. <laughs> Terrific. That sound. Do you hear that? What is that? All right, things just got freaky as hell. What the hell is that sound? No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. It'll be five pounds. Oh yeah, I guess you should. Here you go, my good man. Better hit me with another. Excess is the path to ruin, Mr. Lang. We wouldn't want you to go before your time, would we? I think I can manage just one more drink. That's what they all say, isn't it, Mr. Lang? Just one more for the road. I can handle it. Never had difficulty driving before. What about your liver, Mr. Lang? Can that handle just one more drink? What oh, are you? Damn, Floyd, you always were a preachy son of a bitch, weren't you? I think you're quite mistaken, Mr. Lang. We've never met, you and I. I just don't want you to do yourself an injury. I can handle one more goddamn drink, you stupid bitch. Just stay out of my way and I'll stay out of yours. That's right, Mr. Lang. Let it all out. There's a good little puppy. What the hell? What did... <sighs> Shit. Damn! I need to go, Floyd. It's been a pleasure, as always. Aren't you forgetting your promise, Mr. Lang? Whiskey. For Don. May I suggest you simply take the bottle back to your room? Whether you decide to give it to Don or not, is your call. Once more unto the breach, dear friends. I'm afraid you can't just take it, Mr. Lang. No matter how much you might wish to. How much? It's not cheap, I'm afraid. Forty pounds should do it. Whoa! I don't have that much money on me. I'm sure you'll find a way, Mr. Lang. You always do. Do you want this? I don't think so. Uh, credit card? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Here goes. Goodbye, bank balance. If you just enter your pin. Now, what was my pin? I remember setting a number I can identify easily. No good with memorizing numbers. Ah! <laughs> Damn it, you thing, I guess. I don't know. Ah! Dr. Harold Lang. One free. On one eight. Aha! Once more. Uh, Elma. I don't. Uh, I'm. One free, one eight. Okay. If you. One free, one eight. I'm so smart! All done. Thank you, Floyd. No, thank you, Mr. Lang. 
Now we go. Wow, he is a really neat drunk. What is happening to me? Oh, my head. I can't think. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lang. That pale man you met. I think he just wants a best friend. Perhaps you're not quite what he's looking for. You are, after all, blind drunk. Oh, thank God that goddamn noise stopped. Can I go in here now? Oh god, I could. <laughs> so free! You're lonely. Is that it? Yeah. I think Floyd was right. He doesn't seem to be warming to me, though. Alright. Guess we'll leave then. Bye. Locked. I. What about this one? Locked. Okay. I don't think I should go back in there just yet. What do you want from me? Oh, I think I know what to do here. All right, we go back in. In yeah. Do you want this? Do you want this? Worth a try, I suppose. Hey. Sir, this isn't quite man's best friend, but... <laughs> that <laughs> seems to have done the trick. Aw, oh, he liked that. Adorable. I think he wants me to open it. The box? There's an engraving here. He whose blood the earth's dark thirst doth quench ascends unto the heavens from her womb. Interesting. Damn. It's firmly attached. But, hey, I think I can move it. Locked. Aha! Locked. Ah, oh, no, no, you, no, what? A beautiful, teardrop-shaped ruby. I'm no gemologist, but I'd wager it's real. Lock. Lock. Ah, it's open. Oh! The box is filled with earth and worms. They're everywhere. Why would he lock something like this away? The hell, man! Can't do anything. What? What are you doing? He's playing with the dog. Best leave him. Why would he want me to? Do I can't do anything else with it. This isn't mine. I probably shouldn't even touch it. Grabbing other people's luggage is a bit of a faux pas. Indeed. Alright, I think we'll pause it here. It's getting a little long, so uh, I'll see you soon, comrades. Interesting game. Kind of freaky. Yeah. But, um, let's definitely continue it. I mean, we've begun it, so why not finish it? So, uh, I'll see you soon, I guess. Hopefully. So, do leave a like, share it with your friends, and um, be sure to subscribe so you can see the next episode. And, that's it, Daniel. Bye.